during high school are now wearing athletic hijabs, a lightweight version of a traditional headscarf. Chris Costa shows us what it means to these students. This is Tabarak Kadim's first year playing tennis at Deering High School. Do I have to She's a pioneer student athlete, possibly one of the first in the country to wear an athletic hijab. Nice one. In Islam, we have to cover, and in order to cover, we have to cover our hair with a hijab. Oh, 30, 40. Tabarak also runs indoor track and found her typical head coverings to be a little clumsy. I ran 55 dash, 200 dash. I did long jumps too. And they are doing long jumps with me too. <laughs> They're jumping all the way up. It was her teammates who don't even wear hijabs who spearheaded the effort to get them. Anything we can do as captains um, and as teammates to remove barriers from other students, it should be an automatic. Thanks to an anonymous donor, the girls raised more money than they needed to and bought extra head coverings for the other sports teams. Sulwan Ahmed plays lacrosse. I love lacrosse. It's like a really intense sport. Ten students are using the head coverings this spring. Deering has 25 total. They are breathable, they are more comfortable, and I can actually hit the ball more freely and run freely, of course. The tennis captains feel it was a small gesture, given the hostility some Muslims face today. Any little thing you can do to make the people around you feel more comfortable and safe, you should do it. They actually care and love and respect others and have no racism. A great story. Yeah, absolutely. So there's something that's cool about that. this. This is not just, uh, right now it's the only school in the country, as far as we know, that's doing this, but we talked to the athletic director in South Portland. He says they're considering purchasing some to have available for their students. He says right now there's not exactly a need for them, but he wants to have them just in case there are female Muslim students who want to participate. He hopes to have them by the coming fall so they'll be ready for the start of next school year. I would imagine a year from now, and then a year after that, I mean, this is going to just be normal. This is not going to be, right. oh, look at this. It's going to be part of everything. Yeah. Like buying a football helmet. It'll be the same thing. Right. So. Right. All right. Thank you very much, sir. Thanks, guys. Coming up next.